Mm. Okay, again, I'll only give the feedback I can give. Um, again, no, just not a jungle man. <laughs> but yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Why is this a 52 minute recording if it's a 31 minute game? I'm so confused. Actually, no, no this is the best way to do it, I think. Ooh, nice. I see you leaving, uh, leaving the thing, waiting for the monster to kill it. Yeah. Um, I think you can fear the monster, so that's probably a better start than the spell shield. Be smiting the second camp, already seeing more and more improvement. Yeah, and then like, details with Nocturne, I wouldn't know like whether you target the small ones first or the big one, to be fair. Um, but that can probably be googled. Actually, let me drag this down a little bit. There you go. Now it's a bit less messy. <laughs> Rad. I have to close those curtains to actually see that mini map. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I mean, I figure, again, with Nocturne, probably just looking for the level 6 clear ASAP. Um, I mean, your top lane's pushed out, your mid lane's pushed out. Uh, you're going to see Sejuani in a second because of the ward there is in. Um, Thing so you can counter, counter gank that. Um, we're getting a bit late. I can see we're oh getting a bit low. Yeah, he's too deep. I guess he's committing to a kill. I didn't see the enemy health bar, so oh no, we didn't actually almost get that. Oh, you should be able to win that. Nice. And then you can probably fight the ribbon as well. To be honest, uh, you got a pretty good. I mean, how many wave is a bit bigger, but you've got double buffs. Like, she doesn't have that much cooldown reduction at this point. You've got the Urgar teleporting into. So you could theoretically fight that. I mean, her minion wave is getting bigger and bigger, which does make it very diff uh, or not diff difficult, dangerous, I mean. Um, but yeah, you just get a bit more poke off, that's good. And then Urgar can just push the wave for free using his teleport now. That's good. I like it, okay. Here you don't have any vision on Sejuani, which obviously makes this very dangerous, but you do still have flash, so you should be able to flash out unless you take too much damage. Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, that's fair. Uh, if you get Q, you just get out, don't you? Unless she has too many cooldowns. Okay, with Sejuani's flash, that's still a different deal. But even then, you still make it out nice, wasting a lot of their time. That is good, that is good. Also, by the way, for, for any non-Squirtle stream watcher, I would put, like, bot reviews or, like, coachings, <laughs> if you want to call them that, <coughs> on YouTube, but I don't trust what I'm saying. Um, like, I don't, uh, I, like, I mean, I'm only master, I'm not challenger, so I, um, yeah, I take everything you hear with a bit of a grain of salt. I could easily be making mistakes in what I am saying. Okay. Um, right, so here I think you were the one pinging for a scuttle. To go figuring that you were going to contest it with um, Sidrani. So good that you pinged it and allowed uh, Zyra to react as well. And then you get a free pick. Or Jin gets a shutdown, which is even better. Um, I mean, Snowball in Nocturne is really nice, but even better to have it on the high damage dealers. I don't see the scoreboard, so I'm not sure how, how strong everybody is. It's not 
not so easy to keep track of everything. But I mean, there's just two kills on your side right now, so yeah. Oh, nice. That was a really, really nice case of walking away. Letting the mob finish it. Yeah, it just spear uh, spears. It just speeds the clear up a bit, which is awesome. Okay, again, mid and top are just constantly like shoved in. So, um, I mean, I guess through that you do kind of just get the um, all the time you need for the for you to hit level six here, which is huge. Here, I guess just checking, checking for Scuttle. How much do you do there? Bit of a dangerous position with how you know that your mid laner isn't there and that enemy mid laner has prio. Like when you're going that deep into their jungle though without that sort of backup from um from him. Is she inting? No, no, okay, she had a wave there. Okay, oh right, okay, oh, was just sitting in a bush, right, now I get it. Okay, yeah, I've solo gank. Legally blind son. Good name. Good name. Okay. Um, yeah, very non confrontational. So I guess you're probably looking for like uh, an old on two bot lane at this point. Mid lane again is missing. He's always either shoved in or just not there. <laughs> Makes it a bit hard to gank him. Um, generally, I don't know if you ever buy control woods. I don't. I don't. I don't regularly buy them while playing jungle, but um, I think they can be really greatly utilized when you're pressuring Baron or Dragon, or just Herald as well. Um, just making absolutely sure that the enemies have no vision and how low it is getting and stuff to like just further make steals uh, more difficult. Um, so highly, highly approve of those. And it is very useful um, for laners when you just like for example, control board their, um, their river bush and stuff. Um, but I'm not sure how many you can really buy in jungle without fucking over your uh, your gold, how much gold you have there. So that is definitely something to be to be wary of. Right. Uh, I don't think you'd be able to achieve much here. I guess you're just kind of holding the wave. Mm, that's going to be slow pushing out. That's probably going to screw Ogret over. I mean, I guess he's strong. But generally better when you try to um, freeze the wave for him of anything. Like, I guess the only two real, the real things you do on the top lane if you are looking to mess with waves is A, you help him shove it after he gets a kill, or you see his liner and the jungler elsewhere. Or you help him break a freeze. Um, or you help him set up a freeze. Okay, so three things. Okay, nice. I oh, can't follow up though because he's too far back. Um, so probably need to wait a bit for that. Generally, that was like a huge wave that Urgot had coming into him just then. Um, so that does make it really hard for him to fight. And if he is a level down then that can very much be the thing that allows Riven to like 1v2 or something. 
You do have a lot of CC, which makes it hard for Riven to play, but still, that's always something you should be wary of because there's nothing that will tilt your top laner more than uh, you. <laughs> You're ganking them and then enemy top laner getting the 1v2 double kill. So yeah. I mean, I guess even just generally, Riven has a lot of escape as well, which makes her a bit hard to uh, gank with the ult. Um, so you've got to make sure that Urgur is actually on her and can CC her down. So here you've decided to do uh, Herald instead of Dragon. Um, though I think ideally you want to do Herald a little bit earlier because like Dragon's already done, done now. And I mean you see them fighting there so you know everybody's locations. Um, but theoretically if you like didn't have vision of them anymore like when they're already done with um, Dragon then they could be roaming up to you now. So ideally you'd want to do Herald like, as they are doing Dragon just so you know their location. And no, they're not going to come and potentially steal it. I feel like this ogre would have been very upset with you <laughs> for taking that kill. Okay. Yeah. Just generally, um, it looks like you're about to pressure it anyways, but mid turret is really, really important to get. To like kind of just open up the map because you always want to be able to uh, actually shove in the mid lane when doing objectives. You always want to have that mid lane prior when you're going for dragon and baron. And then sometimes when you're not able to contest baron or dragon, you want to be able to just push the mid lane through. Um just to like get something done while you can't contest anyway. Okay. Okay, okay. So you see see Giovanni, so you're going for the invade, that's decent. Um However, your team would have needed the help, so that probably tilted them a bit. <laughs> I'm not sure what's better to do there, because I'm pretty sure that would have been an overextend from Zyra and uh, Jin. Um, but then again, I get, then again, it is also just dangerous again, because at this point you still know Sejuani's per uh, position. Oh, this is, this is super fucking risky. I mean, you do have Action, who can maybe ult um, to finish up the kill. Um, but you saw Sejuani running around in the in the jungle and she's not just not somebody you generally want to 1v2 into. Okay, okay, okay. Right, 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 right. Um, so here, I'm not sure how low your mid turret is, um, and how much action can defend it. Should be able to wave clear perfectly fine. Uh, something to consider is to maybe hold uh, the turret for him generally when he arrives like way later than you. I guess here you're looking to old uh, Vega. Okay, good fear. Keeps latching on. Jin can follow up. Nice. Get that buff general damage out there too.
Okay. Yeah, looks like a free call. Just can't really do much at that point. Neither can Vega. Yeah, I mean, with the spell shield, you're really strong on him. You can just block that cage very easily. Ooh, rough, rough, rough. Yeah. Would have needed to stall out doing it a bit longer until you had smart again, I guess. I mean, that's always something I'm I'm very wary of. Well, not when I'm playing the game, like, in the moment, because uh, then I never think about it, of course. Um, but, um, yeah. Like, if you know enemy jungler is going to contest, always pay attention to your smart cooldown. Um, because... I mean, that does also tell teams a lot. <laughs> you like, uh, lose a smite fight. Well, no, that's not losing a smite fight if you don't have it to begin with. Um, right. We got really nice pressure on the top lane from Urgot. You just kind of have to, um, get a bit more pressure into the mid lane. Um, because Riven is constantly sitting on that turret and you don't really want to lose mid turret. Okay. Ooh, Jin's about to get doomed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't see the ribbon, you don't have any vision on her. Oh no, they don't actually go through with her, okay. Yeah. Probably better if you save up your spell shit a bit there, but it can't be spooky in the moment. It'll be better from now on. Alright. Ooh, I got so strong. No, oh, pick on Caitlyn. No, not quite. Well, rest in peace, Argot. I don't know if it's just like the chat um, from the VOD, but there's like never anybody pinging anything. Like, I mean, you ping your ult there, but I'm never seeing like anything like Vega ult pinged or Vega flash pinged. There, so I, I haven't been paying super much attention to it. I'm just like noticing it now. Um, but you, some, somebody definitely needs to ping that. And like, if the team isn't pinging it, I think you should ping it because Vega ult cooldown is such a heavy thing. Uh, especially when people are still fighting. And, like, especially still fighting against Vega. Like, that's just very important information to know. Because Vega ult can uh, easily turn a duel. Alright, gotta say, good, um... Good Herald taking, right? Um, just gotta get a bit more control on the... On the dragon side as well. I feel like that kind of does depend a lot on your uh, support as well. Like, um, well, not only support, no, everybody needs to ward. <laughs> as a support main, I can confirm this. Um, but yeah. To be fair, a lot of the times you do have to walk up together with your support for your support to have a chance of warding without just, you know, getting freaking bullied and killed immediately. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess with the fear you do, you are strong enough to do that um, on Nocturne. Generally, it's like, ideally, the top lane is in tanks to do that, but I guess that works. <laughs> I was begging for wars and vision, fair. Yeah, I mean, during some portions of the game, like the Sejuani and the river earlier, you had like everything that the whole river watered down, which was really nice, but I guess it was just a bit, bit more random on that. Right, um, here your entire team is kind of just playing topside. 
Yeah, Decent Herald. They don't have anybody about who can answer that. Um, well, they do have players respawning soon, though. So I guess here you just kind of have to play topside together with the team. Because while you can probably solo Dragon, um, you still don't want to do that against um, against the jungle being alive, I think. So if like your whole team is just posturing top lane, better go for... F I mean, sure, it is soul point at that point. Um, but... Yeah. But I just take the Baron if the team is like going for that. Nice dodge of the Wager W. Yeah, you gotta respect those two. Yeah. In this scenario, I would absolutely just give the dragon right here because you have a player down. Um, and you have like no vision upon the. upon it. I mean, like, Ugget is really strong and he's coming in, but yeah, they like. You can just see that perfectly. Uh, Vega can just mess you up like that. I would always save up my spell shield for his cage specifically, so as he can't fuck with your positioning. Um, and can't zone you. Or, or like, potentially just get the pick on you. Yeah, here, yeah, I would I would just give this dragon, to be honest. Because at this point, like, the only thing I think you should try to do is uh, ult in and steal it with smite. Or ult smite. Um, because, like, your team isn't in position. Urgot is, like, backing now because he d he doesn't want to commit to this. So, even though everybody's technically here now, you are still in a 4v... No, sorry, it's a 4v4 because you see Riven top lane, but, like, you're off to the right side. Jin can't walk up because he's getting zoned down. Action backed off. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, I think either, either you go in for the old steal or you just do nothing about that. Uh, in that situation, I would also continuously ping off my team to just get the hell out of there. <laughs> because people need instructions. They need to be told, okay, no, no, we need to give this, we need to give this, we need to give this. And you need to say it like 50 times because nobody will listen the first 49 times. Like People are very, very, very committed to getting random objectives when it could cost you like the entire game. At least in my personal experience. Um, Gee with me. I don't think I've drunk water in like three days. Uh, only like coke. <laughs> only caffeine. But yeah. Okay, yeah, nice pick, nice pick. You can probably take down the Sejuani there as well. Nice, huge. Urga dies, but everybody's really low. So you should just be able to continue that. Action probably gets his E back, or that. You get the res as well. So then Urgot can defend top, so you don't have to worry about that. I will say, always keep an eye on the side lines too. Because, like, the second you pay too little attention to it for too long, your base is just going to fall to it. I've had so many games like that recently, where people can't match, like, the one side lane pusher, and you just get so fucked because of it. Okay. Um, here we don't have any sort of control board on this thing. Um, Sijuani is still dead, so it's not, re like, dangerous, but there needs to be a control board. If the support isn't buying any, you need one for Baron. Or Dragon, whatever is being contested currently. Especially now with how the the fourth Dragon is coming up, so potentially soul for them. Um, there needs to be a control board on that. Because, like, I mean, obviously Sijuani can still come in and do the blind steal, but she's way less likely to. Um, have it work out. If it is, in fact, a blind one. Okay, yeah, I think here you're just kind of overextending because you're in a 3v4 right now. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, Zara's dead. Um, yeah, yeah, you're all back off. Good. Good, 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 good. Mm, I got still kind of trying to go for it, or he's like super about to get picked, which is bad. Yeah, okay, they leave him be. Said they're gonna try to pick action. Okay. Yeah, good pick. <coughs> so Joanny can't really respond to it either. Oh, but Jin. Jin trust that he would be able to get out. Yeah. Yeah, not the worst recall. You probably have a lot of gold in your bank at this point, so good to actually get that reset in. Because it is very important to leave people to die sometimes instead of just, like, dying with them and then having a 60-second death timer on you. 
I guess, yeah, everybody wanted the, the blue buff. <laughs> okay, then you probably have ult back up. No, not quite yet. Mm, yeah. I mean, you're committing a lot of resources to Riven right here. Um, I think you could have stalled the ult a bit longer. Like even just like uh, pressing the first first um first old uh, like a bit later, um because I mean we probably didn't know whether Riven had flash or not, but just in case she has, then if you like um, press the old later and old in later, you still have that potential to still catch up with her rather than just blowing that um right away. Oh, nice spell shield for the cage. That's awesome. It's also a really nice and easy way to get your attack speed up. Um, using the cage for that. So yeah. And then here you absolutely have to contest soul. And you kind of need everybody there with you, I think. I mean you've got nice prio for it because of the bot lane prio you've got currently, but top lane is very dangerous. Ooh, that's super dangerous. I mean, good to get a pick on Sijuani, but with how tanky she is, that is very, very dangerous. Yeah. I think you're really lucky that you were also ahead there, because that could have easily just cost you soul. That was way too ballsy. Um, like, you went really deep into the jungle with that, and while yay pick, um, it is, it is hella dangerous. <laughs> Because like here at this point, at least everybody else in your team is there, so you can play together. I still think this is a bit too far forward and you're risking a bit too much instead of just going for soul. Because you have to secure that dragon. Yeah, now Jin dies as well. Um, I like that spell shield, like trying to spell shield the trap with that. That's good. Getting like a bit more attack speed for that. Um, but yeah, I think you guys really needed to um, A, get a control wood for dragon pit be um, just not going that deep, none of you. Um, because I mean, they would probably have committed to try and get soul either way. And then maybe you could have picked them like more defensively rather than going so very aggressively and dying in turn. But again, here it's good that Urgot is dragging so many top. I mean, the one problem he's got with dragging everybody top right now is that there's nothing else happening on the map. Um, well, I mean, you were getting dragon, so the pressure he had in top lane was really good for that. But the second you got dragon, he really had to back off because, like, if there's nobody else ping uh, like pressuring anything or doing anything on the map, of course, they're all just going to collapse as five on him. I tried not to play safe as my first game after years there but th you gotta find the balance basically um go find the balance between well maybe not so much a balance but um you need to know your limits yeah here i think if you immediately go in ribbon you have a chance of killing her but at this point it's way too way too deep for her i don't know her score of course but um i don't think she's really worth that I mean, the one thing is that she is a huge split push threat. So as that, she is quite dangerous. So like, good to pick her. But I think either you get the initial pick on her there or you just have to respect the fact that her entire team is mid lane. I think you saw them shortly before that because of the minion wave they were pushing. Um, so yeah, you gotta, you gotta respect Pryo a bit more though. Sorry if this sounds too negative. I'm just pointing out absolutely everything that I'm noticing. And adding my five cents to it. Right. Do you manage to get her? No, okay, through the yogurt old. Fair enough. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, in that situation, it is a bit more situational, but generally, I would just no all the Sejuani, I think. Um, oh yeah, also something that I forgot to add earlier is um, if you save your ult for while you're doing Baron, as you're going to be doing uh, soon here, um, then you can like ult right as they like want to engage and steal. And like just completely deny them the vision that way. Or when they're like walking up, it's like uh Baron is like almost dead, and then you just press it all, deny them the vision, rarely fuck them up with that. Because they then like they're mostly going to be too scared to commit to it, or like maybe the jungler will go in, but the rest of the team enemy team won't. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, the game ends here.